this card right here has caused so much controversy and outrage over the past couple of days. Now you're wondering, what's so special about this card? It's just a Pikachu with a gray hat on. So originally Pokemon had this Van Gogh museum exhibit in Amsterdam, but quickly this exhibit turned into chaos. Amsterdam's Van Gogh museum has said it will no longer offer the Pikachu with gray felt hat promo card that ties in with its special Pokemon exhibit due to safety concerns after scalpers and fans mobbed its gift shop and cleaned out all of its stock in a frenzied scene at the exhibition's opening on September 28th. The Van Gogh Museum and the Pokemon Company International take the safety and security of visitors and staff very seriously. The museum said in an update to the frequently asked questions section on the webpage for its Pokemon exhibit, recently a small group of individuals has created an undesirable situation that has led to us to take the difficult decision to remove the Pikachu with gray felt hat promo card from the museum. In this way, visitors will be able to experience a special collection of Pokemon paintings and the rest of the museum in a safe and enjoyable manner. Now, the museum said the card would be made available for purchase at the Pokemon Center online shop. It's basically a store where you can buy all sorts of Pokemon goods, cards, merchandise, etc. So that finally did happen on October 17th. The Van Gogh Museum Pikachu with gray felt hat card available on Pokemon Center with a minimum order spent of $30 from the TCG category. So basically, you had to buy $30 worth of cards to get this free Pikachu card that people have been clamoring over. Now this is how I got mine. I just bought some cards and I got my card with it. However, it wasn't as smooth and simple for a lot of people. Pokemon TCG fans outraged over deceiving Pikachu with gray felt hat promotion. The special Pikachu with gray felt hat promo card has caused quite a stir in the Pokemon TCG community. The unique card, which features Pikachu donning a hat reminiscent of those seen in Vincent Van Gogh's self-portraits, initially proved chaotic when scalpers overwhelmed the Van Gogh Museum. In an effort to rectify the situation, the Pokemon Company offered fans a second chance to acquire the card through a special Pokemon Center promotion. Customers soon discovered that despite meeting the purchase requirements and even having the promo card listed in their order confirmation, they were not receiving the coveted item. The card had apparently sold out by the time some users completed their checkout, meaning that they were not only down $30 or more, but were without the special promo card as well and some people were receiving this message from pokemon center unfortunately we have determined that the pikachu with gray felt hat promotional card was sold out by the time that your order was placed due to overwhelming demand for the card note that adding an additional item to your cart including promotional items does not reserve stock and qualifying purchases also do not guarantee a promotional card now from what i remember i placed my order very quickly i don't even have notifications on for most like pokemon accounts but I saw it and I immediately just added stuff to my cart and checked out. I think it was within like 30 minutes that the promo went live. I saw it being sold out, if I'm remembering correctly, within three hours of Pokemon Center putting this promotion out there. I could be wrong. I could be misremembering. But if I'm not mistaken, it was like sold out within three hours. And you had to have trading cards in your card. It couldn't just be like any other type of merchandise. It had to be cards. Of course, people took things to Twitter. Pokemon Center is not including the Pikachu Van Gogh promo in all the orders that they said they would. The company is now retroactively claiming that the promo card sold out prior to when the website indicated that it had. And that just because the card shows up on your order does not mean that you are guaranteed to receive the card. Pokemon Center does not accept returns on trading cards, meaning that thousands of customers will have no recourse here. In other words, Pokemon just unloaded a huge backstock of low demand packs on customers with the promise of a Van Gogh promo that they no longer will receive. This seems entirely unfair and I'm calling on Pokemon to find a way to make this right. Now, I definitely didn't know that before researching into this that you could not return. I guess it makes sense if the cards are already opened, but if you haven't even opened the packs, I don't even see why you can't return them. That seems weird to me. You could always just sell them on eBay to try to regain that cost. But if you're just buying random card packs, there's no really demand on eBay because I bought a tin and then I bought some loose packs. So there's no really demand there. So Pokemon was genius trying to just unload all this stock that they had because they're like, all right, here, you want this precious card? Buy our stock room so we can put new things in here. That is genius, but the fact that they have in there that you can't return it, that's just a massive oof. 
And then someone replied, I want part of the class action lawsuit. Bought me 40 sleeved fusion strike boosters. Kind of brilliant from a business standpoint. But how do you not fulfill your end of the promise? Plus, multiple people got the card with their orders. Curious when they ordered. IDK, what it is to be honest, seems like fusion strike orders were the most affected. And then someone else replied, my humble single order of eight sleeves came with the promo. Kind of seems like the people that made multiple orders are being affected the most. I made one order of eight fusion strike packs and it didn't come with the promo. I'm going to give it a week and see if the promo gets shipped separately. If not, I'll contact their terrible customer service and likely have to file a chargeback. So there's some conspiracies definitely brewing in the comments here. Anything from the California warehouse, so if it's not from Ohio, so most likely we ain't getting anything. This is ridiculous. I was one of the first orders too because I was on the website when it dropped and I just hit shipping and it says two fusion strike packs and that's it. Ridiculous and frustrating. Yeah, so a lot of people are saying that fusion strike might have not gotten it. I did not have any fusion strike in my order i specifically bought the the paldean like partners tin it was my my duck boy and then one sleeve of obsidian flame so maybe because i bought a newer pack i got lucky and then i also bought some uh some sleeves those weren't technically included with the promo but I also bought some sleeves, so maybe they were just generous for me. But yeah, there's some there's some conspiracies brewing in here on what orders got it and what didn't. And even when you did receive your order, there's no guarantee it was gonna look great. Well, got my Van Gogh promo card. Oh man, I would be infuriated if this happened. Absolutely mad. How how did this even happen? You had to purposefully stuff it in there like that. That makes it like look how thin this is. How do you not just slide it in there someone purposefully was having a bad day and just bent that and put it in there i i can't be convinced otherwise that that was not on purpose there's no way that the car just naturally bent like that against an etb someone had a bad day and i <laughs> i'd be furious because you can't just get another one because they're sold out and then they pointed out further that there's visible damage on the seam now you're probably wondering how much these cards are going for online now 200 for a singular card might not seem extreme for like older cards but for a newer card, and if you're not into the Pokemon collecting hobby at all, this just seems insane. But the, the main prices that I'm seeing are 150 That's what I've been mostly seeing this go for is 120 to 150 I don't know if Pokemon's going to try to release a second batch of these for those who didn't get it around the first time. I feel like that still wouldn't really help the situation because people who ordered it the first time and didn't get it aren't going to be happy with that solution. I, I genuinely don't know. The only way I could have maybe fixed things was giving people who didn't get the card like a promotion or like a credit on their account for the Pokemon Center. But even then, I doubt you'd get more than like $5 of credit when you had to buy $30. There's no, there's no real good solution here, honestly. Pokemon all around just dropped the ball on this whole situation. They should have known that scalpers were going to try to ruin this event. Like, scalpers have been ingrained in the Pokemon community for a long time. So it just seems underpreparedness all around for Pokemon Center. And it's just like, how? How are you this incompetent with handling cards at this point? But let me know down in the comments, what do you think Pokemon should do? to help the situation if they're even going to do anything at all. Did you receive your card if you ordered it? If you didn't, let me know in the comments. I'd love to read every single one of your stories. And if you want to see me open some cards, uh, I have a Pokemon card opening on Monday, October 30th. That is next Monday. I will be opening all of these cards you see on the screen. I will be opening them here, right on this channel, during a live stream, or on my Twitch. It's also Bad Game Strolls. I haven't decided a time yet. It'll probably be around 4 maybe 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to see me open some cards and talk about Pokemon with me, feel free to subscribe down below. If you did find this video very helpful and informational, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And share with your friends if they are curious on this situation. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next video.